Wix store tutorial how to create a Wix store for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna break it down step by step how to build your own Wix store now one thing to note is that if you're looking to build a store on Wix I would recommend you do upgrade to a premium purchase the reason for that is on the free version of Wix, you can't accept payments. So you'll have to upgrade to at least the business basic, which allows you to accept online payments, add subscription plans, have customer accounts, custom domains, and much more. So let's get started with building our store. To get started, simply click on get started on the top right on Wix. And if you're still developing your store, it's not necessary that you purchase a plan. You can develop your store completely and then later on purchase the plan and then activate your ability to accept payments. So you can build the store and then later on choose to accept payments. Now we're going to click on create new site and start building our new website using Wix. Now you have two options from here. You have Wix Studio or the Wix Editor. I'm going to click on Build on the Wix Editor at the bottom, and you will see there's the Wix AI. I will do Setup without AI because I have an idea of what I want. We're just going to click on Online Store, or you can just click on Skip on the bottom right if you are certain of what you want already. And you guys will see this is our website. Now, first thing we're going to do is enter the full name, which is going to be MLN Designs for our website. And I'll click on continue. Once I've done that, our main project for this is selling our cookie cleaner product. And I want the Wix online store to be integrated as well as I think maybe, you know, I don't want events or bookings. I just want this Wix store. And once I've done that, I can click on start with a template and you can get started with a pre-existing store template. Now Wix has some amazing pre-built templates, or if you are not certain to, you know, redo an entire template, you can click on blank templates. And these are really nice and easy to customize for your own style. So you have a strip header layout, a classic layout as well. I'm going to go with the classic layout and click on edit to get started with building our store. Now, we're going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be loaded up and we're just going to wait for the Wix stores application to be integrated into our current preview of our website. Now, once I've done that, we can ask AI to generate our site with us, but we're going to proceed with the basic version. On the left, you can click on the My Business section to see the Wix application and embed it. But first off, let's customize the basic appearance of our store. First off, on the top left, you're going to enter the name of your store. And then you have a services page, which we're going to convert into a, we're going to convert this into our products page. So I'm going to rename that into products just by doing a double click. Now, after that, I'm going to head on over back into our home page. So I'll click on site menu on the left, click on home. Once I do that, I will remove the top text because I don't require that and then move up the images like this. Once I've done that, we have three images. This is a slider background and I want to change this and I'll click on image and I want to upload some images from my desktop. I'll just click on image over here, click on upload media, upload from computer and I'll upload a couple of images that I have. And I'll just click on open. And we're just going to upload a couple of files together so it's easier for us to integrate them later on. And I'll just be using this image here into the slider. And this is just one image of the slider. You have three images in a slider. If you don't want a slider background, if you want another section, you can just click on delete and then click on add section from the left. And I want to add a simple image and text section so I can click on this and this will be inserted. Now. For the blank welcome section, I'm just going to delete that. And now I can click on the image, click on change background, click on image over here and use one of the side files that I have uploaded. So I think I am going to use a media file that I created as a banner. And you can build some really nice banners using Canva as well by integrating multiple different uh, images together like this one over here. And I'll just click on upload. And we're going to upload this image as well onto our Wix site like this. And I'll click on change background. And now this image will be inserted into our column over here like this. Now I can change, you know, the sizing as well of this column. 
and we can add another column in this as well so if you want to you know customize the appearance further but i think it looks fine as it was and then after that i can add some text on the left let's say this is going to be spring summer 24 is here and then below that i will add a shop now button so i'll just click on double click on the app or the button and then replace the text to shop now then i'll click on the design and by clicking on the design i can customize the design by clicking on customize design and choose my own background text border and corner below that we have a three section layout that has been inserted now i'm going to go into our left panel and click on my business and then you're going to see your wix store so you're going to click on add application to complete the setup of wix stores into your particular template because that is what enables you to list product as product and build your own checkouts so that has been that is now being inserted into our website template and this is going to create a separate shop section and then in your shop section you are going to build some categories and add your product from the back end of wix we're going to wait for this to be completed and once this is completed you can customize the about section the gallery section the same way that you customize the home section but for the shop section i'll show you guys how to do that as well so now wix stores has been integrated now once this has been integrated you're going to see a new section of shop and i'm going to place my navigation menu over here and then place this checkout button and i'll resize it to be a little smaller like this once I've done that, if I open up the shop page from the left panel, I'll click on pages. And if I click on here and open up our shop page, you will see it's not added directly as a page. Instead, it's an integrated page. So it will have a couple of example products and you're just going to click on save on the top right and just save it. I'm just publishing it because this is an example site. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back into the Wix dashboard and in my Wix dashboard, on the left, once you have completely integrated the shop feature of Wix, you're going to find a panel on the left, which has getting paid, where you're going to set up your payment connection. Then you're going to have your catalog and then your store product. So go into catalog, store product, and then click on products over here. And you will see all of these example products. You can select them all like this and then click on more actions. Click on delete and then click on delete to delete all of the example products. And from here, you're going to click on new product and I'll add a physical product like a, let's say this is going to be a wool coat. And then I'll click on add image. And once I click on add image, I can use one of the images we had. So I'll just use this as a product, not a wool coat. This is a silk shirt like this. Then we have our product info, such as a ribbon like new arrivals, then the description. 100% silk then any additional information that we would like to add about this product like any tech specs any care instructions for this product and then the price of the product then if it's on sale and let's say I want to add a 30% discount and then you will set the sale price and you can also insert the cost of goods you have a better estimation of your profit margins then you have custom text fields which allow people or your customers to personalize their products this is a standard product then you have options so you're going to add options and for clothing we have sizes and then we're going to add small comma medium comma large like this and then click on add you can also add other variations like color or maybe texture or you know any type of variations you have in your product then you have inventory let's say i want to track my inventory and i have 200 units in stock and then i can click on save on the top right and once i do that if i refresh my website this is my wix website currently if i go into the shop section right now I will be able to see this is my silk shirt and if I click on the silk shirt this would directly lead me to the page and I can choose the size add it to my cart and then check out and purchase this product so if you want to further categorize your product in Wix you're going to go into the back end and then click on categories on the left and then from here you can build categories and based off those categories you can build pages in the front end of your site. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.